It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer and I've always wanted to do this but I never thought I'd be doing it in this house with this fireplace um, because I've always had problems with the chimney breast and um, I finally got it working but my dream and you probably hear, heard this in multiple multiple videos is to sit by the fireplace with a decent strong beer imperial stout barley wine strong ale that sort of thing and we're finally getting to do it i'm actually sitting in the original position where we filmed our first ever beer review but the other way um it was about this position but i was facing facing the wall there uh, that was Badger England's Go Glory Review over 10 years ago. So we have Glen Noble 160 Shilling Ale. It's by Puchala and Tempest Brewing Company. Tempest are from lovely Scotland and Puchala are from Estonia. Uh, it's their cellar series and it's a 13... 0.2% let's move over a bit for the fire for you a 13.2% ABV barley wine or a shilling ale now I'm going to take my time with this it's got a plastic wrap on it I've been sent this beer by Jockey hi Simon I hope you enjoyed this beer as much as I did I don't know if you make a YouTube video of every beer you have you have been you know, where the beer's been sent, but it would be amazing to see you review one on this. Well, one better jockey. I think I'm reviewing this beer for you with the perfect setting. I keep looking around to see if it's real. So Let's get this wax top cap. We'll get enough of it open. It's actually plastic, I think. Ooh, can we get it? Not quite. Keep working around. Maybe I should have cut some of this off first, but I like to think I can do it in the video to show you. Um, I like these wax top caps, or these plastic top caps. Um, it's a nice little effect there. Hopefully, here we go. Pressure's on. Yes! All right, there we go. So, jockey, let's pour this beer. A one finger, slightly off white head that dissipated very quickly. Should we get the color of the beer through the fire? Ooh, look at that. You can see the colour. It's a red hue kind of colour to the beer. Uh, good levels of carbonation. Looks very nice. Head's dissipated very quickly. You're going to get that. The head will dissipate very quickly on a, on a beer like this. It is 13.2% ABV. Slight haze there. Let's get the aroma. Wow. It's the type of beer that you want to sit next to a, an open roaring fire <laughs> and just contemplate life. Maybe with your newspaper, you know, sit back with your, your newspaper with your feet up, reading the, 
reading the news with a nice beer. Licorice, toffee, lots of biscuit malts coming through. Roasty, toasty flavours. Touch of whiskey, maybe. Probably a barrel aged beer. Get a little bit of woodiness in there. I'll read the back of the bottle later on, but I just generally go straight into the beer and then read a little bit later on. But let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh. oh my goodness me. Oof, wow. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows, what a beer. Middle of winter type of brew. Licorice. Big sticky toffee malt flavours coming through. A little bit of alcohol warming in the throat and moving down into the pit of the stomach. A nice bitterness unfolds. There's a small amount of roasted malt in there. You get small hints of kind of chocolate and coffee and caramel. The fire's spitting. Ah! I can't tell you how much I've, I've kind of like thought about this moment, dreamed of this moment, if you like. Let's not hold back here. Um, grew up in a big town. I'm still living in this big town. And the idea of an open fire was something, you know, you'd go and visit the pub for it. You, you'd never kind of, you'd never think to have it in your own home. It, it, all the chimneys were battered and smashed and wasn't looked after properly. Amazingly, and I don't want it to become too much about this fireplace, but amazingly, this come from a, a house. Um, it was stuck in one of the bedrooms. Uh, it is a dining room fly, fireplace. But amazingly, every single one of these terrace houses in the area had a fireplace like this, but they were ripped out very early on in the in the house's life this house is 130 years old but the beer is perfect the beer is absolutely perfect for this just to do this just to kind of ah look at the beer rock it back and forth get the aroma licorice and dark fruits and big malts coming through a little bit of roasted malt chocolate coffee caramel flavors big thick mouthfeel as well a big thick mouthfeel on the beer where did that go it's okay, we'll sort it out after. A modern take on a traditional Scotch 160 shilling ale, brewed with wildflower honey and aged in a blend of Glen Garrick and Orshantishan whiskey casks. Uh, moon, ah, uh, and then it goes into um, Estonian language served between 12 and 16 degrees it is that I've had it out in my bar area there pulled it in from my bar area I miss the honey I gotta be honest I miss the honey some flavors elude me another flavor that 
eludes me every now and again is uh, vanilla and cinnamon is another flavour that eludes me. Let's get the honey. Yeah, um, shockingly obvious. Shockingly obvious that there's a lot of honey in that beer. Um, that's lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So the Glen Noble by Puchala and Tempest Brewing Company. I'm going to rate it. Um, I picked a, a very special beer for a very special moment, I think. Um, it's terrific. I'm just going to sit here now. Normally I'd turn the camera off, rush over to that computer there and, and start editing and getting it up onto YouTube, but none of that today. I'm going to switch the camera off, sit back, relax, sip this 13.2% ABV beer now for maybe the next hour. And then I, m I may get out of this chair and go and rev um, process this video. I like it enough to give it a 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!